Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to our beautiful judges, teachers, parents and my fellow friends. I am Amiral Amin bin Zahafian will tell you a story entitled Amelia. One day, Amelia got a job at Smith City. She was very happy. So she went to her employer house for the first time. She met Mrs. Rogers and her employer gave her a list of tasks to do. Oh, Amelia, your first day of work and I can't be here. But I made a list for you. You do just what the list says, said Mrs. Rogers. Mrs. Rogers got into the car with Mr. Rogers. They drove away. Amelia Bendelia entered the big house. My, what a nice fox. I'm going to like working here said Amelia. Amelia went inside such a grand house. This must be a ring fox. But I must get to work. Here I stand just looking at me with a whole list of things to do. Amelia stood there a minute longer. I think I make a surprise for them. I make a make lemon meringue pie. I do make good pie. So Amelia went into the kitchen. She put a little dish of this and a pinch of that into the bowl. She mixed and she rolled. Soon her pie was ready to go into the oven. There, said Amelia. That's done. Now let's see what the list says. Amelia read. Change the towels in the green bathroom. Amelia found the green bathroom. Those towels are very nice. Why change them? She took. Then Amelia remembered what Mrs. Rogers had said. She must do just what the list told her. Well, all right, said Amelia. Amelia got some scissors and she snapped a little here and a little there. And she changed the two towels. There, said Amelia. Bob and my pie, exclaimed Amelia. She heard it to the kitchen. That's right, she said. She took the pie out of the oven and put it on the table to cool. Then she looked at the leaf again. Measure two cup of rice, the snack. Said Amelia. Amelia found two cups. She filled them with rice. And Amelia measured the rice. The rice. Amelia looked. This fox don't want me to. Funny things. The sheep poured the rice back into the container. Mrs. Rogers went. Amelia heard the door open. The fox are bad, she said. She rushed out to meet them. Mrs. Rogers soon washed his hand. I say he called. These are very useful towels. Mrs. Rogers dashed into the bathroom. Oh, my best towel, she said. Didn't I change them, Nook? Asked Amelia. Mrs. Rogers went to the kitchen. I cooked the dinner. Where is the rice? I ask you measure. I put it back in the container, but I remember it measured for a half inches, said Amelia. Mrs. Rogers was angry. She was very angry. She opened her mouth. Mrs. Rogers meant to tell Amelia. She was feared, but before she could get the words out, Mrs. Rogers put something in her mouth. It was so good. Mrs. Rogers forgot about being angry. Lemon meringue pie? Bay, she exclaimed. I meant to surprise you, said Amelia happily. So, write them, Mr. and Mrs. Rogers decided Amelia must stay. And so she did. 
Mr. Rogers didn't care if Amelia trimmed all of his sticks with lace. All her care about was having her there to make a lemon meringue pie. I hope you're happy listening to my story. The moral value of the story is we must follow someone's rules and we want to change it. We must ask to permission. That's all from me. Thank you.